Welcome back to Solace, the White Winter. Um, starting off from where we left off, we were just on the first puzzle cave, and now we're going to do the second puzzle cave. Or, I don't know if it's a cave, actually, I didn't get that far. So let's go ahead and crack on from where we left off before. So for this next puzzle we're going to be going in the same sort of direction uh, as we did on the first one, but there's a little bit of a changeover in a moment. To the right here near some frozen bits, there it is. And that's the way you want to head and you'll see that the map changes in just a moment, you have a little bit of a loading screen. There's a part of a rowboat. Okay, and this is the second part of the puzzle. So it's asking us to use left shift to walk slowly, and you'll see why. Because if we walk fast, we fall through. This puzzle is not particularly hard, um, just requires a little bit of concentration because you can actually fall through even when you're on the land. As long as there's a bit of water going through it, you can fall on it. I thought that the fishing poles uh, were part of the puzzle, because there seems to be one at each little lake here. But I think that's literally just for aesthetics. Yeah, so don't be fooled. If there's if you're on the side, you can still you can still crack it. Like it's not doing it now, but it did do it last night. Like that. And you can see that the darkness of that goes into the land. You can still fall through that, so just be careful. Now, I haven't found any collectibles so far in this game. I don't know if there are any. Not that you necessarily need them. I'm just wondering if there is. Okay, we're close to the second puzzle. Now, I haven't actually played this part before, so I have no idea what the second puzzle is going to contain. Alright, let's do this. Ah, campfire. Yeah, I think it would be really nice if the torch here just gave off a little bit more light. Not like a like a massive amount, just a little bit more give it that bit more of an effect. Is this the way in? No idea what that is. Looks like a pillar of some sort. I don't think I'm going the right way. No, <laughs> definitely not. Um but the beam's over there. Unless I just missed something entirely. Looks like we'll just go around the far side of the lake and see if that's the entrance. I think it might be because I can see a sort of inclination there, or an elevation, which I'm going to be going up in a second, I believe. Now, in one of the reviews um, in below in Steam, it said that you can freeze on this. Um, I haven't noticed it. <coughs> So we've got another campfire coming up. There must be some sort of cold factor for them to be so many campfires spread around. It'd be cool if these acted as checkpoints as well. Because I fell through the lake the other day, like almost all the way through it, and I had to spawn right back at the beginning of the map. I know you guys have been super busy making this and if you watch this video because I know you watched my first one please fix the cape please fix the cape it just looks like a, a solid piece of frozen cloth moving back and forth okay we're 
nearly at the last bit of the puzzle now. Sorry, we're nearly at the entrance to the puzzle now. Oh look, here's those same pillars as we saw in the last one. In the last bit of the map. I'm almost certain I can see a pushing puzzle in front of us here. So how do we do this then? So you look at the direction you want to push it, and you hit E once, and he'll throw it in that direction. She will throw it in that direction. So now we're into the proper part of the puzzle here. And it looks like we need to get that rock just over here. Is there anything else in the room we need to be made aware of? No, we've got a fireplace and a door, so just that one. So we need to be careful here because we could actually get this locked into different areas which would make it wrong. So I think this way and then this way. Now most people would say logically you're going to go this way and enter here, but actually what you're going to do, you're going to end up pushing it over here and it's going to get stuck. So what I'm thinking actually is we go this way and then down to the bottom and you can see the gold clipping through through the cube here as well when you press E on it. And lastly, here, and that should unlock our door. Perfect. Let's see what the next part of this puzzle is. So this one we have one door, nothing else apart from a pot over there. We also have some ice here. Now that wasn't here before on the last one, so that might might cause me some issues. This one looks a little bit more difficult. I think we need to go here. And I see we can't push that because of where it's located. So I think we need to go back up here, and we're going to have to go this way, because there's no other direction you can take it, then this way, and then this way, and down towards the beginning, and then this way. And lastly, we're going to go up one more time. And we've done it. And we go left, sorry, right, one more. And it should be in position. Perfect. I thought we might have to melt that ice on there, but it doesn't look like that's the route round on this one. We've got it. Let's see what the third part has for us. I really like these puzzles, these kind of bring me back to when when I was younger um, and games that just simple platformers with platforming puzzles. This one's just a very simplistic puzzle game and I really like it. Um, now we've got two cubes, but only one button. Oh no, there's one button there, isn't there? Okay, so that one's really simple and I feel like this one here is too simple. I feel like we need to use this this cube here to get this one in place. 
So let's go ahead and start by putting this one here. And we're going to go across like that. Up one. And then across one like that. I think this is going to work actually. So we go down here. Across here. And use this one to go there. Push that straight across to the one across the room. And then push this one where the other original first one was. I didn't actually know that was the right way of doing it. I'm certainly glad I got that right first try. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see what the fourth part of the puzzle has to show us. I think this simplistic style of artwork and models is really nice. Um, it's, it's not like too complicated, there's not a lot going on in the, in the maps, but I guess the simplistic style mixed with the lighting and the music just works really nicely. And this is the final part of this puzzle. Now we have four to get. So that could be interesting, four of them. And I think this one actually is one where you could get this easily mixed up. You have to forgive my Xbox app popping up there. My friend has just got the Sea of Thieves game, which we want to play together. Well, that's one cube in. Oh, I feel like this one's going to be very tricky. Let's just get this one out of the way. And then let's go ahead and push this one over here. Oops. I hope I haven't just broke that. Put that one there. Oh, I think... I think I get this one. I think I understand where we're going with this. So the one in the corner I think I've already got in the right place. I don't think I can get that any closer, any other direction. So we put this one in now. And then put it across to the corner. So then we've got... So that could go that way. Okay, let's go ahead and just get this one straight into position. Let's just send that straight down there. Now I think this one is going to have to go round to the left of us. Like this, I think. And then like this. I think I've messed up. Um, I think it's safe to say that I have definitely messed up this this puzzle here. Unless I do put this one here, but then send it back across. That actually works quite well. I think there's multiple ways around this puzzle, to be honest with you. But if you just follow my video here, you're definitely going to be able to find the right way. If you get stuck, of course. There we go. Done. And that's our second puzzle completed. That light's now going to go and open up the second block. Lock. In the, the main tomb bit. Um which is perfect. We should get some storyline now as well.
this level lasted a lot longer than I thought it would, so I might have to just cut it down some places. Okay, now the little girls with the monk guys. And a fight over him. Looks like he's got a bag there with a a, a, a stick on it, like a yep, yeah, like as if they were homeless. Yeah. So they're both trekking together somewhere. People have turned up at the house. The guys in the robes again. And that's what we got so far. So we'll have to tune in to the next episode to find out what goes on um, with the storyline there. Because it seems like it's actually getting a little intense. These guys are thrown out of their house. There's these guys with robes trying to get after them. And we shall leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And expect another episode very shortly. Probably tomorrow at this point. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.